Well, Tilly Brampton is an assistant coach who helps rev up Liberty's field hockey offense. She's turned players like Sarah Geip and Serena and Bethany Barr into deadly goal scorers. But when Tilly came to Liberty, she felt a bit out of place. Something was missing that she would find in the most unusual way. I would have never imagined that I would have seen this. I would have never put myself in this situation either. I never would have put it on my list to go to Africa at all. Um, I was pretty content with the life that I was living in England. Um, it was very like self-focused. It was just about what I wanted and getting, you know, what I wanted out of life. And to now like come here and have like this like purpose, it just gives me so much more like a sense of joy and like meaning for life. And you know, it's just like a special um, opportunity to have. So. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> like, you know, I was first introduced to field hockey when I was like two. Um, my dad played, I had like a tiny little like hockey stick that was about this big. Um, you know, and just to think like a game that I just played for fun during that time has now like taken me to First of all, like America, like a place that I would have never thought that I would have gone to. Um, and now to see it played like here in Uganda is just, um, it's just amazing. Just to see like the kids playing yesterday, uh, a sport that they'd never even seen before. And just to see the joy and the happiness that it brought, it's just amazing just to have that gift that like God has you know given me and other people on this team um, and we're just able to share it and through that you know we can share um, God's Word as well um, and we're just able just to love these kids as much as they love us I mean honestly I think these kids love us more and have more joy than anything that I have um, so I just really feel like they're teaching me so much more here than I'm teaching them that's for sure Brought up in England, Christianity was something that we certainly didn't believe in. Yeah, like we just didn't believe in God. Like I never went to church, I'd never read a Bible. More than anything, it was actually something that we joked about quite consistently. Um, so it really just had like no place in my life at that point. You know, and then a couple of big things I think happened along my life. You know, my mom died when I was 14. By that point, I didn't believe there was a God. Um, so it kind of really just affirmed it in my mind. You know, I then kind of went to university, uh, got a degree, um, and I ended up going to like Boston College to play field hockey there for a year, which then resulted, you know, in me looking to like finish out my masters. You know, I wasn't really getting any job opportunities during that time, and Liberty came up, and I remember the moment I saw Liberty, I was just like, I really want to go there. I didn't know why I wanted to go there, but I just had like a feeling about it. I'd seen that it was a Christian university like on the website, but in England, like Christian universities or Christian schools to that matter, didn't mean that they were Christian by any stretch of the imagination. So in my mind, I just see Liberty as this regular university that didn't have that kind of mindset. I ended up like being offered the job and I went down to Liberty and I met Jody. I mean, I remember the first time we had like lunch as a group and I remember them all sitting down and they all prayed and I remember literally looking at them being like, what are you doing? Like, what is this? Like, I didn't know what they're doing. So I remember literally like they were praying and there's me like holding hands, like staring at them, like with my eyes open being like, what do I do? Um, you know, that really kind of indicated to me like how, how I really didn't understand anything, but I just knew the moment I went on campus that it was where I wanted to go. I've been really honest about who I was and what I believed, and yet I hadn't really met anyone that I could relate to. Um, you know, and that one night, I literally sat down on a table with somebody who shared like the exact same story as me, but the American version of it. And I remember just sitting there and just, just being amazed. Um, 
you know, and then the scripture that they went through that evening, you know, I think I'd got to a point that I believed in God by this point, but I'd never really believed in who Jesus was. And that night, just through scripture and a number of things that happened, like I finally like believed in who Jesus was. And that's kind of when everything really, really changed for me at that point. And we just ask all these things in your son's name. Amen. 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 It sounds kind of interesting to say, but like the way I see it in my own mind is that I was like this kind of little bird that was up in the tree and, you know, had been taken out of the nest and just seeing like the expanse of life. Like for me, where I was at before was just being like, not trapped in the nest, but it was such a like confined view. Like it was just kind of like you're in this cycle about your own life and you, you don't really see outside that. and you know, being brought out of that nest and just seeing. It's like, you know, your eyes are like opened up into something completely, you know, bigger and better than you would ever imagined. And, you know, this trip for me just very much resembled like kind of walking to the end of that branch and just looking down and just trusting in the Lord that he would allow me to like fly. And, you know, I just think back then just to like being so confined in that little nest, like, I don't want that and that's what like atheism really represented to me was just that nest like being blinded by what truly is out there um, you know and that's probably I, I would just love to like get to that point you know in my walk that I could really just soar and leave kind of everything else down below and just really be you know living for what is important um, so yeah I find it amazing how you're just going on in life and all of a sudden God just throws on the e-brake and sends you in a completely <laughs> yeah. different direction. Yeah, and I love how she says, you know, she lived for herself before, but yeah. now she has purpose, which has brought her the greatest joy of all. Such a great story. Yeah, definitely an amazing testimony.